Hey students, it's Mrs. Anderson again. I wanted to give you a little training and information about how to get a copy of the graphic organizers you need to fill out for book club. So this is the website that I created and for today we are going to fill out a fictional job and graphic organizer. So you can either click on the picture or click on the words and it will direct you to the page. Here are instructions and explanations of how to run your book clubs and then how to get a copy of your graphic organizer to fill out. There's going to be a video here. I'm making it right now for you to watch later. So here is the section for director. There is a job description and it looks just like the worksheet that I gave you at the beginning of the year in your homework folder. But just in case you need to access it online, it's right here. Okay. There's also a good example and a bad example of the graphic organizer. There's pictures for you to look at. So that way you can see good and bad examples. The story I used was Harry Potter 2. So in case you haven't seen the book or the movie, spoilers alert for the first three chapters. This is a poor example. Look at how little the information is. That is so not okay. It's not open-ended questions. The answers are really brief. No, you need to actually be thinking deeper about this. Okay, so here is where we can click to get the graphic organizer. It automatically forces you to make a copy and that is okay. So when you click on make a copy, it will automatically save a copy to your Google Drive. Notice it says up here, saved to drive, okay? There's also this little folder button here that you can click or you can, no, nope, you can click on the move here. Notice the button's the same for move here and move right there. So we're gonna click on move and what we're gonna do is that we are going to create a folder. So click on this button here to make a folder and you're going to click on, you're going to write 20-21 because that's our school year, 2020-2021 book clubs. Now that I've made a folder, I can move here. And so that way you're able to find it in the future. Now say for example, it's the next week. This next week you're the summarizer. Okay, you're gonna make a copy of this graphic organizer again, because it's a different graphic organizer this time. Okay, so here you go. You are totally able to edit this. You can type, oops, let me press Control Z there. You can type all within the box. Now, if you actually type that for your answer, you will not get full credit, okay? Now we need to organize it. See, it's saved to my drive click on move and this time i am going to put it in this folder the 2021 book club click on the little arrow and click move here and that way you have one now it could be that we're reading multiple fictional books so for example you can put hatchet here since i know we're going to be reading hatchet so that way you know oh this is for my hatchet because what if you have so many different book clubs you're like oh no what do i do now you know okay if you have any other questions please let me know by email or on canvas i hope that was helpful for you um, and then once you fill out the graphic organizer look at the video on the padlet page to show you how to link it onto padlet okay thanks guys it was so awesome to see you have a lovely lovely day